Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. If you didn't know, Friday the 13th is considered an unlucky day in Western superstition. How bad is it? An estimated 17 to 21 million people are affected by fear on this day in the United States, making it the most feared day and date in history. This leads to an estimated 800 to 900 million dollars in lost business. Now, why are people scared of Friday the 13th? Your guess is as good as mine. I was reading the history in Wikipedia, and none of these explanations were completely convincing to me. Regardless, if we accept that Friday the 13th is considered unlucky, you might start looking year by year when Friday the 13th happens. It turns out that every single year seems to have at least one Friday the 13th, if not up to three. In fact, we will prove a mathematical fact. Every year has at least one Friday the 13th, and a year has at most three Friday the 13th. Now let's just look at the calendar of 2023. There are two Friday the 13th, January 13th and October 13th. So in order to do an analysis, let's first look at a non-leap year. Here's a general calendar starting with January 1 on Sunday for a non-leap year. We are going to consider which days of the year are the 13th of each month. So start with the 13th day of January. This will be the 13th day of the year. Now February 13 will be 31 days later because January has 31 days. So we add 31 to get to the 44th day. To figure out March 13th, we can add 28 days because February has 28 days. So 44 plus 28 is equal to 72. Then to get to April 13th, we add 31 days because March has 31 days. So 72 plus 31 is equal to 103. It's a simple arithmetic exercise to figure out which day of the year is the 13th of each month. So we'll just go ahead and do these calculations for each of the 12 months. So now we have an absolute number for which day the 13th of the month is. So let's just go ahead and label that. We now need to convert these absolute numbers into days of the week. So we'll notice that a week has seven days. So the days of the week repeat every seven days. Day 1, 8, 15, 22, and so on will be the same day of the week. Days 2, 9, 16, 23, and so on will also be the same day of the week. So if we can remove multiples of 7, we can figure out which day of the week each of these belongs to. So we will look at the remainder by 7, or modulo 7, of each of these numbers. So day 13, 13 divided by 7 is equal to 1, remainder 6. 44 divided by 7 is equal to 6 remainder 2. We just want the remainders. So day 13 will be 6, 44 will be 2, and we can continue. Now 72 is 2 more than a multiple of 7, so that'll be 2. And we calculate each of these remainders by 7, or we take each number modulo 7. Each remainder represents a different day of the week. All 7 remainders going from 0 to 6, are represented. So each day of the week is the 13th day in some month. Therefore, at least one month has a Friday 13th. Furthermore, look at the most common remainder, which is 2. This happens three times. Therefore, the maximum number of months that have a Friday the 13th is 3. So we've proven that in a non-leap year, there will always be a Friday the 13th, and we can have at most three of them. We just need to do the same calculation for a leap year. So in a leap year, February has 29 days. So we'll go ahead and calculate the 13th of each month. The 13th of January will be day 13. The 13th of February will be 13 plus 31, which is 44. Now, to get to March 13th, we have to add 29 more days. So this will be different from the previous calculation. Now we go ahead and figure out the 13th day of each month for the rest of the months in the year. This will just be one more than in a non-leap year. 
So we figure out the 13th day of the month for each of the 12 months. We now go ahead and convert this into days of the week. So we take the remainder by seven or modulo seven, and we analyze these results. So once again, each remainder represents a different day of the week. All seven remainders are represented, and therefore at least one month has a Friday the 13th. And again, at most three of the remainders are the same. So we can have a maximum of three Friday the 13th in a year. So while people in fear may want to avoid Friday the 13th, it's a mathematical fact that it will happen every year and it can happen at most three times. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions where we solve the world problems one video at a time.